Today, I'm going to be going over a problem from Oxford University's Math Admissions Test. I had to sit this exam back in 2017 uh, when I was applying to Oxford, and now I'm a full-time maths graduate. Okay, going live in three, two, one. Today, I'm going to be going over a problem from Oxford University's Maths Admissions Test. I had to sit this back in 2017 when I applied to Oxford, and here I am on the other side, a maths graduate from the University of Oxford, now working as a full-time maths tutor, helping students from all across the globe get into study maths. This is one of the problems I like to start my students with when they are first seeing the math or math style questions for the first time. It comes from 2006, and it's a pretty straightforward problem, and one to maybe ease yourself into the advanced mathematics. The equation uh, 2 plus x minus x squared all squared equals 16 has how many real roots? And although this is easy, there's still plenty to discuss here. Um, the first thing is you don't want to expand this, which some students might think to do. Uh, we have 2 plus x minus x squared equals 16. That's also the same as x squared minus x minus 2 squared equals 16. And that just looks a bit nicer because it's a positive x squared. And now this means that x squared minus x minus 2 is plus or minus four, so kind of square rooting like so. And now we just have two different cases to consider, the plus four case and the minus four case. So if we do the plus four case first, we're gonna get x squared minus x minus six equals zero. And now we want to know how many real roots this has. And so you could just factorize this or we can just use the discriminant. So I'm gonna use that here. So it's gonna be minus one squared minus four times one times minus six, and that's 25, which is clearly positive. So that gives me two solutions. And what about when I have minus four here? Well, that's gonna give me the equation x squared minus x plus two equals zero. And again, if I look at the discriminant here, it's minus one squared minus four times one times two, which is minus seven, which is negative. And so therefore I only have two real solutions. So the answer is C.